Benedict, the palace hoping to project then that this was just a, a nice cuddly meeting, a nice statement we saw afterwards. How on earth, though, do they actually get down to the nitty gritty now, though, of uh, sorting out the difficulties that all this is going to pose? Indeed. Crisis? What crisis? I think this is a, a very good uh, example of how to try and shut down what has become an absolutely huge national but also international uh, story. So you're right, many questions remain. Of course, let's remember what that summit was, the Sandringham summit, as it's been dubbed in Norfolk yesterday, the private residence of the Queen. It was the Queen, the boss, really, and the reigning monarch, uh, summoning her eldest son, who will become king, Prince Charles, uh, and his sons, uh, Harry and William. And of course, Harry and Meghan with that bombshell announcement last Wednesday evening saying they wanted uh, to quit front line uh, of uh, the royal family and have a progressive role and, be, and try and earn their own living and have independent means. But so many questions uh, remain, not least about their finances. Uh, they say they don't want to take any more money from uh, the British taxpayer. Uh, they're actually 95% of their earnings uh, actually, uh, well, they're not earnings, actually. Their money comes from Prince Charles uh, and his money from the Duchy of Cornwall, and only 5% are public funds. But how can you be a half uh, royal and possibly private uh, or celebrity? Let's remember they're going to be sharing their time. Uh, that has been approved, that transition period by the Queen between the United Kingdom and Canada. For example, will the Canadian government... Uh, pay for some of those costs or not. Benedict, just as you're talking there, in fact, Boris Johnson's been talking, I assume, on the British radio, in fact, of the royal family, saying I'm a massive fan Television. and confident they'll sort it out. I mean, people still pouring, of course, over the, the words of the statement itself. Indeed. I mean, Boris Johnson, uh, as I speak, is giving a, a TV, live TV interview. But when he was asked yesterday in Northern Ireland to comment on this, he steered completely clear of it. He really wants that separation and doesn't want to say, I think, anything that could be misconstrued. But the communique itself was fascinating. Uh, very the human touch. I think the grandmother talking about her family, the royal family, preferring that Harry and Meghan uh, stay full-time royals, but accepting that they wanted a new life, a different life for their family. In other words, Harry, Meghan and Archie here in the UK and uh, in Canada. And I think it really is a grandmother, uh, as well as a monarch, trying to grapple with this. She is very clear that she wants final decisions uh, and therefore, we think we will get some details in the coming days of this progressive role. Still very many questions. Some people in the papers today saying very much this was a sensible way forward uh, and that this is basically the Queen giving her benediction or her blessing. Others saying she's actually surrendered and this is the worst decision that the monarch has made uh, in her entire life. The future will tell. But another transition. We now don't just have Brexit transition, we have Megxit. <laughs> Both at the same time. Benedict, thanks very much. Benedict Pavio, our correspondent, took to his life there from London.